All right, how are you doing today? I am your host, Lacey G. Soldier Turner, and we are here with a very special guest today. Um, last time we talked, you know, he was running for office. We got the amazing, wonderful, talented Dale Taylor. How you doing today? Uh, no problem. So we got something to, we got something to talk about about your town how on me. Well, we're gonna talk about that in a second. So um, last time we spoke, you were running for office to become state representative in District 84. Uh, how did you feel the night that you actually won the election? You said so. Did you have a party? Did you throw a party? Yes, we did. We had a campaign watch party at the Warehouse West in my district. We had uh, my volunteers. I had a small army of people going door to door in Kansas. So it was like we had a party and we watched the uh, results. They didn't have enough money to Okay. So what was it like being elected into office? Like basically, how did you feel going to Jefferson City and getting into your office for the first time? It's uh the Capitol building is amazing. It is an old structure, it is large, it really is the symbol of our democracy. So it's kind of overwhelming. It's, you uh, drive in from St. Louis, and as you get close, you see this Capitol building, this grand building on top of the hill, and you think, wow, that's my new job. That's my new office. As you get inside, and it's marble, and it's just years and years of history. So to some degree, it really is a grand honor to uh, serve the people and to serve in this capacity. But at the same time, <laughs> again, a lot of work, a lot of work getting ready for the oath of office, setting up my office, getting my new legislative getting ready for the uh, inaugural. It lately since I was, it, I was exhausted. It just feels like it has just been a massive thing. Every week there's something there, something big. <laughs> And that was my next question. I was going to ask, what are some things that you have been doing or have been a part of since you've been elected into office for Missouri? Thank you. different than what you expected or is this what you expected when you uh, became elected? Uh, it's 
losses, I knew it was going to be some important work. I did not expect it to be so much, such a steep learning curve, so much responsibility on day one. So much responsibility to, the, you know, not only my 37,000 constituents, but I'm looking at not just the issues, but the Okay. Well, now, you know, you got something big coming up. You got the Stop the Violence Town Hall meeting on April the 1st from 11 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. Uh, can you tell the people about that? Yes, yeah, absolutely. This is my first town hall estate rack. Uh, I have been doing this for about 15 years. kind of touched on it a little bit you know there have been many town hall meetings like this in the past so what do you feel makes this one different and what are you hoping to the outcome of this town hall meeting well i think that the speaker is q&a is there what do you think is the cause for a lot of the violence that goes on in the city
concerned by the violence and violence. So that's a big reason why we decided uh, Mr. Senator Martinez to talk about some of these other services, but more specifically, being in the communities themselves, having resources on the ground, meeting and interacting with the individuals that are high probability individuals to commit these crimes, talking with them, counseling them, and working with them to get the services, the employment, the tools that they need, and following up with them. And, and Sal will talk about the success that his group has been having. Uh, okay. Is there anything else you have uh, coming up other than a town hall meeting that you want to promote or talk about? So we may be doing another town hall sometime this summer. Bill, how is Bill in the support of domestic violence? And basically says if you have a restraining order for domestic violence, you should turn your guns into the sheriff until that restraining order is lifted. Uh, this should be a law, you know, this should be a very good bill. I talk to Republicans and Democrats of both alike. I'm working to try and get it assigned to a committee so that we can have a public hearing on it. And literally have a good open democratic debate on both sides of this issue. So that's another very big item that I'm working on. And I'll follow up with you on getting people's involvement, getting the, uh, letters to the speaker and letters to our different key individuals to make sure that we can get a uh, committee and a public hearing on this topic. Okay. So let the people know how they can be a part of the Stop the Violence Town Hall meeting. Absolutely. It will hurt. Yeah. Yeah. the word. Sharing the word. You can't understand, but if you have questions or any of the speakers, send me your questions. I'll be moderating and I'll try to answer all questions. There's a lot of things. And later, there's one thing that I want to do is if you could do your part to kind of ask people on the street, you know, what are their thoughts? What are they hearing? What would they like to hear? Okay. Not only in this town hall, but other town halls. Appreciate more feedback from people because. You know, what you guys want and are thinking and are talking about, and that makes me a much better representative. All right, so I definitely got you on it. I do a word on the street with the people, and I'll send you the video, and we'll go for that. Well, thank you very much, sir. I appreciate it. All right. Thank you again, and the good work that you guys and the people at the August are doing and keeping us informed. You know, people don't understand and appreciate that the strength of our democracy is in freedom of speech, good freedom of speech, transparency, letting people know what your representatives are doing and elected officials are doing, what events are coming up, how can their voice be heard. So really do thank you and thank you very much for the service that you guys do for our community and for our community. Right, I strongly appreciate it. And thank you for creating change. You know, we need real people in office. And it seems like the people are starting to care more about who they elect and I, I already feel that you're one of the greats, and I know you're going to create change. So thank you as well. We're a service. We know our service to our community. We will serve. We will serve. Okay. All right. Well, Dale, that's all I needed from you. I know you're on your way to Jefferson City now. I'll let you know when we drop this. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Okay. See you later. Bye-bye. Have a good day.